a quick out of rain. Uh, it's better. Uh, well, welcome back to Restudo Farm. Uh, we've got Mikey back today working. He's planting in the field for us with our direct drill over at the airfield. Um, you know where we're heading today. We'll be taking this down to the mine. Um, bringing back the other pieces of equipment if we can. And then bringing this down so we can load it up. That's the plan anyway. Whether or not we'll pull it off remains to be seen. Alright. It's absolutely chucking it, but it's not meant to be. Uh, rain was only meant to be until sort of nine o'clock, but it's still chucking it down. That's not a good thing. And our old truck seems to be struggling towing at the minute, so uh, it's never a good sign. Watch the cry. Yeah, it does not like this one bit. So we're going to have to take our time getting down there. Which is never good. But yeah, there you can see Mikey now. Planting away. Good old boy. So yeah, we're going to head down to the mine site and start prepping there. I think I might need to upgrade my truck eventually, get a new one. There's a... Uh, this does not like towing anything heavy. Real strain on the engine. There we go. Well, we'll see you down there. It's always a nice sight to see the windmill as we go past. I'll slam the brakes on. Oy, oy, oy. Only just about got those brakes. Now this is a bit I was worried about this bridge. It's the weight, I mean, the truck's struggling to pull it. Are we going to be able to get over the bridge safely? But yeah, that didn't seem to be a big problem. To take all these turns a little bit slower. And we're not far from the mine now, so... Five, ten minutes more and we'll be there. Here we go, through the wilderness, through the bushes. I'm not even going to try to go around them at this point. Uh, you may notice the bank balance has taken a hit. That's because we've got a special surprise coming soon. A little purchase we've made. We made it on an online auction. Um, Keith's waiting for it to be delivered up at the main store. Oy, oy. Oh dear. Just... Uh... Not good. Not good. Uh, right, let me just... Oh, we've got a little dent in the door there. A few marks, but not too bad. Uh, the truck's been a good servant to us. But I think we're going to need to upgrade. We're certainly going to need something with a bit more torque if we're going to use it to pull things around with and um, I mean we don't own this trailer it's rented anyway but we've had it for what three weeks now we've got to get it back soon all right we're here so we've just got to take it nice and steady I've also spoken to the engineer um, about three days ago now because uh, he still hasn't collected that box He's not in any rush. As uh, long as we're happy to keep it there, he's happy to leave it there for now. Here we go, we're in the mine. Get down here alright. It's not filling up with rain, so that's good. I'm getting a little bit of traction stuck. Alright, this will do for the moment. Uh, time to get her unloaded, I think. Power up. And away we go. Oh. Should really lift that bucket. There we go. We're off. 
Now, have we done enough with this? We've got a big old weight on the top of it. There we go, no problem. Alright, shut that off then. Right, we've had the uh, guys down here. You have to excuse a really loud train. But we've had the guys down here having a look at the old uh, truck. Yeah, let's just jump in. What's that? Alright. This works and runs fine now. They flushed a little bit of uh, oil in her. Fresh bit of fuel. Change the fuel filters. New battery. Runs like a dream. Didn't cost us too much either. Now the big gamble is are we going to get this on and are we going to get the uh, tractor on? I'm not getting anything on like that. Oh dear. Alright, that's all shut off. I think we've done good there. Got it on anyway. Alright. Yeah, I somehow I don't see the tractor getting on at the moment. Maybe we'll leave the tractor down here for now. Uh, it seems a good truck. Um, I just don't really have a need for it. So we'll list it and see what we can get for her. She's old, but she's in good nick. And we've had it had a mechanically sound now. I'm going to throw some straps on. Uh, and then we'll get hitched. Well, then we'll close it up and drive it on out. Right, we'll see how this one performs. Will it? be any better than that to tow doesn't seem that way oh come on power we're definitely going to be able to get a bit more power and speed out of it though I think we're going uphill not digging in we're getting up we're getting up now well, let's get this back to the farm and unloaded Um, we'll see you back there. We're actually getting booking some speed. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad towing on this. Mind you, the weight, I suppose, is a lot less. There we are. I can see Mikey in the airstrip field there. Doing a good job by the looks of it. Even in the rain, but it's seeding lovely. He's, I, I did call him earlier and he said it's uh, running like a dream. So it's always good to know. Here we back. Wait. Yeah, definitely need a new truck. Something to add to the uh, list of things to get, I guess. And here we are. Here we are, home sweet home. Alright, let's just go get this unloaded. Uh, right. Alright, we're all down. For some reason I've got the indicator going. <laughs> That is a big old climb, I'll tell you that much. Alright. I'm going to get this in the dry for now. There we go. I'm going to take some pictures of it on a nice, clear, sunny day. That's good, that looks good enough. There we go. Yeah, it looks nice one that, that really does. Right. We get some pictures taken up, put it up for sale I think. We've got a truck that we, we're going to be using anyway. Uh, right, it's raining. Uh, I'm going to go pick up the tractor quickly and then we'll crack on.
There we go, that's all loaded. It's a beautiful little tractor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I definitely don't want this front loader. It's... Although it's got the attachment for it, I just don't think it's really... I mean, it's slightly oversized for what it is, especially with the big, huge bucket on there. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty little tractor. It runs all right. Not the greatest, but it runs. All right, we'll get this bun up and delivered, I suppose. I see Mike in the field over there. It's not quite finished. He hasn't run out of seed or fertilizer, which is fantastic. Well, not that he's phoned and told me anyway. But I did have a little phone call from Eddie. He's actually down at the mine at the minute, having a good look. Um, and he reckons, yes, it is river gravels, but um, he also thinks it's, it looks like tailings. So it's, you know, it's already been washed sort of thing. But, um, he also reckons it's old timers tailing, so the chances are that it has got gold still on it. Um, just not as much as what it would be if it was, say, in the Yukon or something. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how to really take on that. Uh, I don't know what, I'll just pull this up here again. I think the sun's finally coming out. Alright, let's shut that off. Alright, choke out. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking... At the moment, I am being rather selfish. I'm thinking I want to keep this. I'm, I don't, wouldn't even know what I'd use it for, to be honest. But it's such a pretty little tractor. But I definitely don't want this uh, bucket that's on it. I'm just going to take it over to our shed. Give it a wash quickly. Um, and I'll probably take the bucket off and the front loader attachment get it pictured up and then sold on it's not something I'm interested in keeping I reckon I'll get a couple of quid for it there we are quick spray down rain's done a lot of the work for me now is that rust or is that just a bit of dirt no it's coming up lovely that's good we can get a lot of this off probably just climb up here get inside that bucket Right, I've just all right, I've got it up on here just so I can change some of the filters on there um, because some of the ones we put on here were pattern bits and I want more of the originals on but I'm gonna keep this for some reason on the farm I don't know what I'll keep it for but I'm gonna keep it for now it's a nice pretty old tractor so I will keep that up up get it up to spec but the uh, the front loader attachment and bucket I've got up here I didn't even realise or see this, but it comes with its own little tripod there. Quite nice. But yeah, it's just, it's oversized for that, and I can't see a need for it at the minute, to be honest. Not now we've got that big wheel loader we could use up at the farm when we need it. Alright, I've uh, taken the, uh, what's it called, the old uh, flatbed, if you like, the fifth wheel. I've taken that back up to the store and dropped that off. Um, I'm now just going out to see Mikey. Uh, I'm hoping he'll be alright to just run me up to the store to pick up our surprise. I know what it is. Mikey's not sure what it is. <laughs> I've kept him in the dark, bless him. Uh, and you'll find out very soon. It's not something we actually really need or anything like that. But um, yeah, I'll tell you now, I'll get it for a bargain. 10089 that's how much I got it for in the end, and it was a uh, off an auction site. So I say it's, it's. I know it's here. I've seen it. I've been up there, and I've seen it. I'm hoping Mikey will give us a lift. Just run us up there in the tractor. 
Alright, mate, yeah, no worries. Cheers, Mikey. Um, yeah, so Mikey's going to give us a lift. Um, so I'll see you um, with the great reveal. Yeah, cheers, mate. I uh, just got the keys off Keith. There it is. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. It's huge. Um, twinned, as you can see, it's got twin wheels on both sides. 240 horsepower. Alright, let's uh, start her up. Oh, she starts up really well, though. Really well. Um, got some aftermarket speakers in there, and I have no idea what they're in there for. Uh, I'm guessing they've got some sort of boom box in here. But yeah, it seems like it's been kept pretty not pretty nice. Yeah, drives all right. A bit big. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to use it for. I suppose this does give us the option to buy bigger pieces of equipment for towing. Um, I think the axle's a little, the steering's a little bit vague. Uh, we'll get used to that. Wonder what Mikey will make of it. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, basically, I was having a little peruse on an auction site, and I came across this, and now I know Dean's got one of these, or very similar, uh, I think his is slightly newer than this one, this is a, a 79 model, not sure now, um, but yeah, this, this has got a few mod cons that his hasn't, he's got the digital screens light up, need to be programmed to it, but yeah, it's quite nice. I think we'll just get this back to the uh, farm, find a home for it. Probably use it definitely for hauling, I can use it for hauling. It can be used for all sorts, I guess. Right, for now, it will be going in the tractor shed. I'll see if this actually fits. Really shouldn't be doing this at a speed, should I? Well, it goes in alright. Oh, there we go. <sighs> oh, somehow I've turned the lights on. Hold on. There we go, they're off now. Big old beast, really, when you think about it. It's an oldie as well, but for 10,000, I mean, I couldn't argue with that, I really couldn't. Uh, we've got our Massey. Uh, we've got our Axion that's an upgrade for the Massey, and then we've got that that can just pretty much pull everything that we've got here anyway. So we're definitely all right now. Um, there's, oh, oh yeah, we've got the little one that I've got to find a work for now. I've got the pictures for this to be put up. I'm probably going to list this one on the auction site. Um, but as for the truck, uh, I'm going to be asking for 10k for it. $10,000 I think is a good price for this truck. This little green one. It's in good nick. We've uh, Obviously we've done a few bits and bobs to it to make sure it's a, a good runner. Uh, yeah, so if you know anyone who's after a nice little runner it's got a nice little bed on the back yeah it's not a bad little bed on the back there see nice wooden panels no rot no rot no rust good immaculate condition really ten thousand dollars yeah so maybe ask around see if anyone wants it uh, I'm going to put it up on the general website, see whether or not anyone wants it there. Uh, local Facebook. Uh, I don't know if Greg's list will be... Oh, I don't know if anyone buys anything off Greg's list anymore. Um, I'll put a notice up in Keith and Sarah's shop as well. If they let me. Yeah, it looks good. Right, I'm going to quickly grab a spot of lunch and, and then take that truck down. I think Mikey will be finished very soon as well. Was he going to crack on with a rolling? Ah, oh, welcome back. We've had a nice spot of lunch. Uh, we're just in the uh, Aerion, or was it the Aerion? Anyway, we're just in the Kloss. We're starting the rolling. 
We've got the roll on the back there, as you can see. Uh, while Mikey grabs a spot at lunch quickly. Um, and then, yeah, he'll be taking over from us again very soon. Um, while we head down to the mine. Exciting stuff. And then that, so this field prepped, ready, and rocked, rolled. And all good to go until harvest. It's, uh, I believe it's sorghum we put on this one. Or at least that's what I told him to put in, so I hope he has done. If he hasn't, we may be in trouble. But it's, yeah, that's rolling absolutely fine. No arguments there. Oh, hello. We're just spraying off the uh, dirt off the old cedar here, the direct drill. There we go, that'll do. Let's pop this away quick. There we are. Yeah, Mikey's back in the field doing the rolling. He's doing his uh he's doing his little jobs. Um we've got our strawberries, I don't know if I told you about that all yet or not. We've got a little strawberry strawberry patch in here where the old grapes were. So we've got strawberries, lettuce, um tomatoes, and the sunflower seeds that are being made into oil. It all gets shipped up on a regular basis up over the road. Mikey's been running that up for us quite recently. But, um, yeah. Time to get the truck and head on down to the mine and get our first load up. Um, and then, obviously, I've been a while, so I doubt Eddie's... Uh, wrong side. I doubt Eddie's still waiting for us. All right. There we go. I love that sound. But yeah, we get our first load, and I've just got to wait for Eddie to let me know when we can meet his friend Owen, who can do something with these rocks and turn it into gold. I'm not expecting too much, but yeah, I'd like a nice little bit of cash flow from it. We've spent enough money out there, and we've still got that gentleman to pay back a load on. The... Uh, Silent partner, partner, if you like, the actual land owner, uh, and then after we've mined it and whatnot else, we've got to turn it back to a lake, and then he's got further development plans for it, which we are going to help along with. But uh, yeah, let's head down there and get the first load done anyway. See you soon. Hasn't taken us long to get down here in this thing. Now the question is, when we fill this up, has it got the power to get out of it? It should have. And that bridge still, every time, I just want to duck. We can get under it, it's just, yeah. Alright, I think if I just pull it up. Sort of along here. Gives, the, gives us enough room. Oh, shut that off. Here we go. Now, I know I've got the cage on this for protection, but... Um, now, I'll f impair, impair your vision. There we go. First load in. Right, next lot. Uh, try and scrape all this up here. There we go. Remember the controls here. Oh, not too fast, so it's quite heavy. It's 
about a fifth load already in here. Going good. Although it doesn't look like we're making a dent on the amount that we've got here, so um, there's more than I thought there was. Considering how big this bucket really is. There you go, another bucket. What we do is we're going to just fill this truck right up. Uh, and then we'll see if there's any real indent into that mound. I'm getting a little hang of this, but every now and then I get a little bit too overconfident. I nearly tip it. And that seems to be that. It seems to be full now. Just going to bring the bucket down. Alright, shut this off. Let's get around here and have a look. There you go, it's completely and utterly full. A lovely looking river rocks. Hopefully that has got some good good gold in there. Alright. See how this does. Come on, there we go. No problem at all. Well, not at the moment. Alright, let's see if we can get up the hill. This is what I'm worried about. Oh, no, it's effortless, really. Drop a little bit, but then we just start picking it again. Oh, easy, easy, slow towards the top. There we go, look at that. Alright. Well, I'm going to head on back. Park this up. I'm going to call that one a day. Um, see how Mike is getting on in the field with the rolling. And then hopefully, tomorrow, um, I should be able to meet this Owen. Or at least find out what's happening with, uh, with these stones. They call him the cleaner, uh, and as far as I get from Eddie, what he does is he does some chemical reactions with the stones. It's different than just washing them, like they do up at the Yukon on the old gold fields and whatnot. Um, they use a chemical reaction, they mix it with chemicals in like a tank, and it extracts the gold from all the materials. Uh, and he also makes cement. So basically, uh, from what I gathered, we, we, we supply the stones um, and then he supplies us with gold, but he keeps all the cement and a percentage. I think it's a percentage. I forget how it works, but we'll soon find out. Eddie will explain it to me much better. I see Mikey still rolling. He's not far from finishing, though. He should be finished before five. This he normally goes home for. Now, I will say one thing though, and this is fully loaded, for, especially for the stones. And I'll take a while to break. But that's not, that's no problem. What we are going to do is park this in the shed until we do go over um, to this Owens place. So that if it rains, it doesn't fill with water as well. Because we really don't want the extra weight. All right, I'll just back this in here then. All right, there we do. <clears throat> really impressed with the way that pulled. Really impressed. Um, that's going to be a fantastic addition. Plus, we've still got this uh, flatbed that we can use for any other deliveries. We've got a big tank, water tanker. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this because I'm not... I'm not overly needing any water. I mean, uh, yeah, I could use the odd water here and there, but I might even sell it yet. Who knows? Well, until next time, uh, this has been fun. This has been Matty G. This has been Restudo Farm. That's been Mikey over in the fields. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, until next time, peace out. All right, let's go on in, get scrubbed up. Let's see if Eddie wants to come over with some backgammon.
Yeah.